Welcome back. I'm your host, Daniel Lee. We're on the Gravity Golf Channel. And today I'm gonna to show you a very special short game exercise that will help you feel exactly where to set your feet down so that you can clear your mass and make sure that when you engage your turn that 100% of your pounds is moving towards your target. This is what's gonna give you that really nice sensitive touch and be able to feel exactly how to accelerate through your shots. So what this is called is a spooning drill. Now this is something that's actually illegal on the golf course, but as a drill, it provides great benefit to being able to feel, A, how to get yourself in position to be able to move through it, and also how to get the slack out of your body. What I mean is that if you come up to a shot and you can move inside of your shoulders and your arms, that means that it's easy for you to turn and the rest of this be left behind and then you'll try and add to it. And this is what ends up chunking shots or blading them, causing you to fall back, all kinds of little maladies. So without any further ado, what I'm gonna start off with is I'm gonna put the blade right up next to the ball. So it's actually touching on it. And what you'll find is the more loft that you, you use, the more challenging this is. So it's good to start off with, uh, with an eight or a nine iron or even a seven iron if you're, if you're new to this. And right now I've got a pitching wedge and I am just going to feather this up to that hole right there. So I'm gonna put it right up next to it and I'm actually, I'm gonna stretch my spine up, good posture, and go ahead and turn my chest cavity and my hips to the left so that as soon as I start to move, everything is turning through this. All right, so <laughs> that is a bit of a missed one, and that's what actually happens. So I'm gonna take this opportunity to show you what happens if you add hands to it. That ball will fall right over the top of the club. And that's why it's actually easier using less loft to start with, because it's penalizing. If you do add any hands to it, that's what you'll see happen, or it'll even end up shorter than that. So let me try that again, see if I can get in the right position here. And that's what you want. You want challenging drills that allow you to feel, oh, there we go, it was an improvement. You want challenging drills that allow you to feel when you're doing it properly and if anything is just the slightest bit off, so. That was close, a good distance. I just kind of was hanging back just a little bit there. So going ahead and turning. I can feel that as soon as I start to move, I'm actually feeling an extension in my left leg and the turn. I'm just learning to feather that blade up there. I'm trying to feel exactly how much loft I've got and that I can just turn right through this. Ooh, it's close. All right, one more. I let that one get a little bit away. I got a bit aggressive. But I want you to try this. Go out there and play around. It's okay. We're going to miss shots. Everybody's going to miss shots. But you want to be able to feel when it's working together. And, and when you have something that really forces you to have to focus on something very, very intent, intently, you have to be able to allow everything to work together in unison. So I want you to take this opportunity to go out there Try this spooning drill, get yourself feeling what it's like to clear through your shots. And this will help tremendously. So actually, after you finish going through your, going through your spooning drill, then you can go over to a chip shot with a backswing feeling the exact same thing. that your body is in a position just to turn through your shots. So enjoy yourself. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being a great supporter. Please check the like button. If you didn't, then please pass along. And thank you as always for giving us your time and your energy. And we look forward to seeing you and help serve you in the future. Take care, au revoir.